Hi, my name is Linda. I am going to do a quick do-it-yourself video. We moved into a house recently and um, have these triangular windows. I love the windows. It was not my intention to put curtains over them, but we do not have air conditioner up here yet and it gets super hot. We have a gorgeous view and I really didn't want to cover it, so I decided to go with a shear. Now I'm doing a white shear at the back because that reflects the heat. And then I have this red shear on the front to match my furniture, my grandmother's fainting couch, which you can't see right now. So the problem is I didn't want to do a rod across the top because then I lose the shape of the window. So I decided to do a triangular shape, which has its own challenges. I am not a seamstress. I apologize if you are, because I'm probably going to drive you crazy. So I took, um, I put up my curtain rods and I got my shears and everything. And what I did was, uh, I took, I took these because when you put a sheer curtain on there, it's going to slide down. And we had some sliding happening. So let me grab this. I bought bias tape. I have both white and black. And with each curtain, what I did was I took the curtain at the top here and I did a small seam. Now this seam is just big enough for me to basically do like you do with the um, when you're putting elastic in something. So what I did is I took the bias tape, I ran it through that little small pocket I made, I sewed it at the end. And if you can see, I left just a little bit of a gap. So here we are, I've got one more curtain to do. And I feed that, I put a little safety pin on it so I could feed it through a little bit easier. As you can tell, I've already done this um, with most of them. I'm putting two panels for one piece of bias tape. So I measured between the brackets and then put, like I said, about an extra half an inch, three quarters of an inch on each side. And I'll show you in a minute why I did that. So let me get this one on real quick. And you can see I put um, I put a couple tie backs. Our room is on the third floor. This room is, and I didn't want to block the view most of the time. So I tried. I put the tie backs up really high so that I could pull the curtains where they were just almost completely out of the way. However, um, I can also put them down easily. If I want, I can have both curtains down, which I often do uh, during these hot summer days. In the winter time, I could take the white one down and it would actually absorb heat instead of reflecting it. And in the summertime, if I wanted, I could have just the white one or I could even reverse them. These are the same rods. I could reverse and put the white one on the outside and the red on the inside. So, um, it's kind of versatile this way, but like I said, I'm putting two panels. I have to keep in mind, I'm going to want to wash these. So by putting two on one bias tape and sewing them the way I'm sewing them, it'll be easier to take them down and put them back up. They're basically sewn together at this point. So, uh, a little bit more to go here and then I can show you the next step. I'm going to sew my little 
like I said, I've, I've done a seam just right here where the curtain comes, but I'm going to sew that later so that I can get through this a little quicker. One of the problems with these videos is they just take so long to show you something simple. This is probably not the traditional way to do these windows, but I'm kind of a non-traditionalist in some ways when it comes to decorating anyway. And we are almost there. Got about another foot to go. Now as I go, I also try to gather this. That way, it, sorry, there's fireworks going on outside. It's the 4th of July. Um, but I'm trying to gather these as I go and get them all in a nice, where they look more, a little bit more evenly gathered like those up there do. And this bias tape, like I said, will hold the sections together. But then I have to hold the sections up. So that little tab that I did, I sewed some snaps on there and there's a snap here in the middle. This one doesn't have a snap on it yet, but by snapping them together, then I have, um, I'm holding them at the top and these others are held at the side over here by a snap. And that, just gives me, makes it all one continuous bias tape holding everything in place. So these are, takes a little, the, I think the thing that takes the longest is just getting this uh, tape fed through. So we're almost there, see so we're at the end. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this safety pin on until I actually sew it. So see, I've got the two curtains. I have um, gathered it in various places here. And now it needs to go up on the rod. There was plenty of room for my rod here also. Here we go. This rod has one of these little finishing balls that I have not put on yet. So then what I will do is I'll put sew a snap here and on this one and I'll just snap these two pieces together. Now when you're doing it down like this, these curtains are super long. I'm going to let those set there for a minute and I'm going to figure out what I want to do with those later. But for now, I have curtains. Have a great day. God bless.